Hey, uh, good afternoon, friends. Um, welcome to No Signal in the Studio. Uh, today we're going to be continuing work on a song that uh, we worked in, uh, worked on a bit at the beginning of last month called The Light Grew Strange. And again, this is uh, with the Suitors Violin solo project that I just started. So we're going to be working on this today. Um, we, have, uh, we have a pretty good sketch of what's going on. Um, we have some Ebo tracks, we have some guitar tracks and a uh, live bass and a percussion that I'm pretty happy with for now, and also some nice flavor crystals. So we have all the uh, all the building blocks here for what we wanna do. Um, and today we're gonna be uh, building out some more of the song, hopefully to the end of the song. And we're also going to uh, be recording live bass, and we're gonna be recording one of my favorite ways to play guitar with the Ebo. So uh, let's start out by giving a listen to what we have and uh, kind of see what we're starting from and where we want to go next. Here we go. about it for right now. Um, we, have some, we have some pretty nice sounds going on. Um, I'm pretty happy with the Ebo and let's hear how that comes in at the beginning. It's going to come in slow and uh, we're going to hear everything come in. We have three tracks. Some nice harmonics going on there. Um, we also have uh, our um, our flavor crystals. Let's hear the beginning of that. So uh, liking how those are sounding. I might have done a little bit of cleanup um, in between the past couple sessions. And uh, we also have a percussion track. I started out with a, with a with an algorithmic drummer and broke the parts out into MIDI so that we can um, so we can modify them as we want to. Um, all right. So the first thing we're going to do is take all these uh, percussion parts. And you can see I have some uh, I have some markers set up here for all the parts. Um, oops. and uh, so we're going to uh, we're going to record the live bass like I said so what I want to do is copy the drum parts um, to fill out the rest um, so I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna grab some here and uh, copy those over just gonna drag them and copy to line up with what we had there before. So we have our B part, we have chorus two, we have our verse and a half, and we have our outro. So we should be able to play um, bass all the way through now. That's my, uh, that's my intention. 
Um, the bass, uh, we have a pretty good sound on it. I may have borrowed from um, the Suzanne uh, patches. Um, hey, Bluer Than Blue Falcon, thank you so much for the sub. So uh, bass has a pretty good tone, I think. Oh, Bluer Than Blue Falcon, you're Matt. Okay, hi Matt, nice to see you. All right, so uh, for the purpose of uh, not getting confused and not getting mixed up in terms of what's going on, I am going to mute the Ebos and I'm gonna keep, and I'm gonna mute the finger pick guitar and I'm just going to um, play the bass uh, over, the, uh, over the guitar parts that we have. Um, so uh, let's, let's do this. This uh, we'll be playing the Lachlan bass. Um, this is the uh, a hollow body uh, kind of boutique bass guitar. I love, love, love the tone. It's been a very good bass for me, um, and I have it going into a uh, DI box, a direct box, um, for uh, for the tone. So let's see. Let's. Just... That is super low. There we go. Got a little bit of rattle in there. Don't know where that's coming from. Um, all right, so let's find uh, let's find the notes here. I'm gonna solo the bass track just for a second. So we're just gonna record. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, duplicate the bass track and um, record fresh. And I just want to save what we had there before. All right. So going from the beginning, let's uh, let's play some bass, y'all. Right, shall we? And I'm getting this no signal. Hold on a second, let me boost this a bit. Alright, that's a little better. Alright, let's try that again, shall we?
All right, we're getting there. Well, let's do another take, shall we? Hi, Poe. Nice to see you, Craig. It's nice to see so many friends in chat. Hi, y'all. Here we go. terrible um we're gonna leave that for there um there were a couple of bad notes um but we will uh, we will punch in and fix those all right so at this point we should have uh, a bass part that goes all the way through uh, let's give it a quick listen to see how our tone is and uh, let's just go from the beginning
new setup and uh, still getting kind of used to that. All right, um, so another thing I wanted to um, try to play with is uh, often when I'm building up a song, um, there will be quite a few layers and um, kind of an important part of, um, of the composition process once you get to a certain point is to drop stuff out. Um, to see what does not need to be there, uh, maybe all the way through, maybe um, maybe just in certain parts. So what I want to try and do is I'm going to um, I'm going to mute some of the guitars. Already got the bass muted, and uh, I just want to hear how it sounds with just the bass and the um, Evo. So let's give that a listen and see how that feels. So what we've cut out here are the finger pick guitar and the dis and the distorted guitar. So let's hear with. And if you can hear that distorted guitar here, and it's not bad, but it is taking up space. Um, so uh, let's mute it, and um, we'll also hear how uh, the finger pick guitar comes in. It sounds like this. All right, so if we mute both of those tracks, uh, both of those uh, guitar parts, and we turn off solo, let's hear what it sounds like without. I'm going to come in about here. So uh, the idea here is it's starting out a little bit, I don't want to say calm, it's still pretty unsettling, um, but there's a little less going on. And uh, what that'll allow us to do is to add parts and build it up as the song goes on to build an intensity um, and finally uh, some kind of catharsis at the very end. Alright, but I don't want to I don't want to keep them all muted all the time, so I'm going to unmute them here. And uh, what I can do is uh, mute individual areas. Um, so I will grab uh, I will grab these finger pick parts here. Maybe not that one. We're just going to grab those two. I'm going to mute them, but I'm going to copy them, and we will put them back in a little later. Um, here at uh, chorus, maybe let's grab um, that and that and that, and we'll simply drag those over. Oops. Drag them over and line up with B part. Uh, yeah, line up with B part and then going into the chorus. That should actually be here. And then our half verse and our outro. So let's uh, let's give it a listen kind of midway through there. So we're gonna start on first chorus. <laughs> So coming into the chorus, we'll get a little bit quieter. Here we go, halfway through the chorus. Now that bass really, really comes through, doesn't it? percussion here in that middle eight, which I do want to get rid of. So we're going to uh, delete all those and we're going to uh, maybe grab something else. Um, let's try uh, just, just the kick for a second. 
I'm gonna copy that piece and we'll put it there. And maybe a little bit of accent here, which we will also copy over to here. So that, um, that will set us up for the middle eight. Let's come out of the verse. <laughs> that to be in a different snare so let's try that this is our B part we're gonna do something a little different and I was thinking about bringing in another instrument the only scents we have right now are for our flavor crystals. All right, we need to bring over that, uh, these two guitar, to, oh, uh, this sort of guitar beds. Let me chop that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna cut there. And I'm gonna grab this piece from the chorus and we're gonna paste that in to our uh, chorus two as well. That goes in there and I think we're gonna copy the, no, we're good, okay. Put that there. All right, so we're gonna come out of the B part, which is pretty sparse. <laughs> this one and drag this piece over here so let's see coming out of second chorus <laughs> like to uh, go through and uh, next up we'll do some Evo um, with the St. Vincent guitar. Um, first I'm going to take a very short break uh, to share a video with y'all. Um, this is uh, one of my own and uh, this is Cameras which is a release from from last January uh, with the uh, Calamity Orchestra project. So I wanted to share that with y'all. Hope you enjoy. I'll be right back. Please get in the picture.
a riot after they said rock and hands were thrown at officers. Protesters burned an American flag and clashed with police as they tried to arrest demonstrators. That song, obviously, about um, the protests of 2020 to Black Lives Matter and uh, pro-immigrant immigrant protests. And, of course, the world is uh, still on fire and things are getting um, pretty scary out there. Just a reminder, um, if you're feeling overwhelmed, focus on the things you can change. Focus on the people around you. Focus on your friends and loved ones. Make sure they're okay. You don't have to solve the problems of the whole world, and you can't. So take care of yourself, friends, okay? All right, um, so uh, we've got these Ebo tracks that are here already, and I'm pretty happy with those, uh, with the general feel. Um, but I want to re-record those parts and uh, do, make it a little bit cleaner and also carry them through. You can see they, they chop off right here. Um, and we have three tracks, and the idea is they're harmonizing with each other. Um, so what I'm going to start out doing is uh, muting um, Ebo tracks two and three and uh, just starting on track one and we're going to re-record and uh, we're not going to lose what we had there before um, because uh, we're going to do takes that will simply uh, make new takes on top of it and we can uh, chop up and do whatever we want with it so um, let's let's get started with that um, i'm going to use the saint vincent which is uh, one of my favorite guitars um, and uh, it sounds really really good with the ebo it has a really really good tone uh, let me do the right thing and actually put the put the strap on here. There we go. All right. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Ebo. Oh, where's my camera? There it is. Uh, Ebo is an electromagnetic pick. Um, it uh, it works by creating a vibration on the string. And uh, let me show you what it kind of sounds like here. So uh, these are the pickups on a guitar right here, here, and here. And that's, uh, that's where the actual sound of the, of the uh, vibrating string is coming from. So the Ebo rests on a couple strings and uh, you simply move it toward or away from the pickup. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's record and see how it sounds with us. And we're going to start at the very beginning and we're going to come in kind of slow. hearing this. I'm not quite sure why is it.
we have a nice strong signal on the screen here. As you can see, we have a, a good, uh, good thing there. I, um, I'm going to temporarily turn the track up just so I can hear a little bit better. And uh, let's try that again. Right, shall we? That's good enough for now. Um, now I'm going to do uh, a second Evo part, and I'm actually going to do it on uh, on a different string on the guitar. So I'm going to unmute this one, record enable here. All right, we're going to do a similar kind of thing, same chord progression. But we're going to do it on a different string, so we get a slightly different tone mixing the three uh, mixing the three of them together.
bring it in. It's all about keep doing takes until we're happy. Oops. Sorry, y'all.
our third track now, and after we're done with that, we're going to listen to everything all the way through and see kind of uh, where things stand. So um, we have now new takes for one and two, and now it's time to go in with three. And I'm record enable and listen. I'm going to bring, up, bring it up in the mix again so I can hear it. All right, so we've, uh, we've, we're going to do yet another third string. Um, and uh, let's... Give it a try. Totally missed every single note there. That's amazing. What an accomplishment. Okay, let's try that again. so far. Oops. Well, my knee is breaking stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, let's give a listen to what we have now. Um, I'm going to turn off the Evo tracks or uh, collapse them. And again, we have multiple takes here so we can mix them at will. 
Um, I want to, uh, we're kind of uh, um, maybe a little bit past the halfway mark. And what we usually do um, about that time is we sit back and listen to what we have. But most importantly, we enjoy a golden cream filled snack cake. That's right, it is uh, time for our Twinkie break. I'm gonna mute my mic. We're gonna listen to everything I have. If you have uh, your own golden cream filled snack cakes there at home, uh, please feel free to indulge. Uh, all right, y'all, let's uh, give it a listen to what we have. Kind of feel how it uh, how it develops over time. All right, um, I had an idea. It actually came to me um, last night while I was trying to sleep about uh, doing something, a little treatment for one of the Evo tracks, and I just want to give that a try. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is use a multi effect and uh, make the Evo kind of pulse or even arpeggiate a little bit. So uh, I'm going to set a cycle region here just for a little bit of it. And um, I'm gonna, I've soloed that Epo track, so this is what we have. All right, so we already have quite a bit of processing on it. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a new send. I'm gonna set up a bus send. Uh, to a new bus. Uh, let's go with bus 9 and then I'm going to bring up a mixer and we'll take a look at where bus 9 is. It's always hard to find. Uh, here it is. 
And uh, we're gonna name it just so that we know uh, what we're doing here. We're gonna call it um, um, yeah. And uh, I want to put an effect on here. Um, let me turn up the send a little bit. And uh, the effect I want to put on here is a multi-effect called uh, Step FX. And uh, it has a pretty wild interface here. So um, I'm going to uh, pick uh, pick one of these, and let's hear how it sounds when we run that when we run the Ebo through that effect. <laughs> happening here for that sound. Here, that sounds some teachers. Again, just for some motion. The other thing I'm going to do to this, because we're kind of fucking this up some, is I'm going to add another delay. Exactly what I was looking for, this part right here. But, uh, that is uh, pretty heavily affected and maybe a little bit more than what I wanted uh, for the entire thing. So, uh, what we can do is go into automation mode. And automation is simply uh, the same thing you would do on uh, a mixer with sliding. Uh, 
with sliders and stuff, but um, what you get to do is automate absolutely anything. So we're gonna automate our, uh, our send, uh, which is here and absolute. And what we're gonna do is start with a send really low. So we're gonna start with, uh, with the, um, the effect being almost invisible. So I'm gonna bring it down here and uh, solo the tracks so you can hear how this comes in. So you hear that? We're starting out pretty dry. Exactly what I want, and then uh, once we're done with that part, we're gonna bring it all the way back down. All right, let's hear that in C2. Great thing about doing it on an aux on a on a, on a it's on um, aux channel on a send is that uh, we can make more than one track go to that exact same effect. So if we wanted to do something similar with Evo three here, uh, which I will solo, um, we we uh, also send that to uh, bus nine, and we'll also automate that. Um, and uh, let's try starting out with it. Let's try bringing it in from the start. So we're going to add a lane here and uh, main send to staccato here. And uh, so we're going to we're going to start out with it active, and then we're going to oops, let's do that. And then uh, we're going to bring it down. So we're going to start it about there, and we will bring it down all the way um, into the first verse. So let's hear that. We'll solo it first. All right, and then the sound gets pure again. So let's hear it in C2. subtle enough I won't be able to hear uh, actually until I step away for a while um, if that actually worked if it actually works in the mix and the levels and all that and how much uh, how much of the effect all right so now we're on Ebo 2 and I'm gonna add the same kind of things so we're gonna once again go to uh, bus 9 and I'm gonna dial it up some and uh, we're gonna automate it so let's add a new automation lane and this is main send there absolute 
Um, so it's going to start out uh, with almost nothing. I'm going to start out very dry. Oops. And we'll bring it up coming out of the B part. And we'll drop it back off after that. Oops. All right, so let's hear that soloed. sound and then in detail. Give it another listen all the way through, or uh, at least through those parts, and see how we're feeling about it. special plan for the outro but not happening today <clears throat> all right um i also had a note uh to maybe add a piano part and i'm thinking in the uh in the b part here um we have uh four measures of a b part that hasn't been written yet b parts should uh should fit in but it may be a key change it may be playing with uh the melodic elements and switching things up a little bit so um haven't written a B part yet, but I have a placeholder for it, and we're gonna we're gonna see uh, what to do with that. Um, I'm feeling like we're at a pretty good stopping point. 
and um, I want to save some uh, save some of my energy for the rest of the day. So I wanted to say I really appreciate you all being here. Um, I really enjoy uh, uh, kind of showing my process, and hopefully it's interesting to see um, at least how I uh, make music. So I'm going to leave y'all with something uh, from the before times. Uh, this was, I think, 20, uh, 2009, 2010, which will be pre-transition for me. Oh, uh, my eighth anniversary of transition, by the way, coming up on the first. So super, uh, super amazed at that. Um, all right, I'm going to leave you with a track from my very, very, very first uh, album that I ever uh, put online for streaming, download, uh, purchase, everything. Uh, the, the project back then was called Dust in a Shadow. And I want to share a song with you called "When We're Gone." Uh, it's one of the it's one of the better ones from that time period, I think. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks again for being here, y'all. And I'll see you again next week. Uh, watch on Twitter and Instagram. I will be posting uh, the work in progress here, and of course on my YouTube channel, uh, which I believe I can drop a link to in chat. Let's see. No, okay, gotta set up that uh, that that command. All right, so here is when we're gone, dust in a shadow, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Thanks again, y'all. Love you all. There are bones where we stand. Stick around, y'all. We're going to read uh, DJ Greg House in just a minute. When we're gone. Who will be left behind? The single dreamer's son. See the tree.